So I've been talking about building a desk um, for quite a while for Casey, for my wife, for my partner, my best friend. And it needs to go into this small space that we have that she uses for an office and a study. Right now what she's using for a desk is this garage shelf and it's not very user friendly. She's going to be spending a lot more time here. She's doing business at home and also studying for classes that she's doing as well. Anyway, she needs a real desk. And the style she would like is 50s, mid-century, modern type style. I think I can do that because I happen to have some scavenged hairpin legs that are older than I am, uh, some plywood and some red oak. And I think those three elements I can put together, tie it in with the room, kind of like a rug. It'll tie the room together. A desk over here, writing table over here, mid-century modern. Let's check this out. So, yesterday we were able to get the tabletop done, uh, the writing desk. Um, two pieces of plywood sandwiched together, so it's about an inch and a quarter thick-ish. Red oak trim around it, and uh, I put a couple clear coat finishes on it and sanded it down, and it came out pretty darn good. I'm liking it. 
And so today we'll start on the actual desk itself. Uh, a little bit more to that, but it's going to be fun. And I'm glad that you're here. And if you're still watching, yay! Day two, let's get started! That was kind of cheesy, I know. Anyway, let's, let's get going.
thought I should give a little explanation about something that happened. I went to do the glue up on this leg assembly and I got impatient and I figured once the glue set that hadn't fully cured, about a half an hour, I took it out, I wanted to taper the legs on this, uh, started doing that, bumped into something and simply, it's not, it, it, it was hard enough to break it off. So I, I, I didn't like that anyway, I glued up, uh, each one is two pieces glued together. I tried to use as many of the scraps as I could, but instead I went and got a, a bigger piece of wood and I redesigned it, stronger, thicker, I let it dry overnight the glue, I tapered the leg, I did, so I wanted to let you know that what I'm getting ready to do now is to cut the height that I need these legs to be. And basically what I did was I ran a level across the hairpin leg and measured up from the bottom of the shelf part of the desk and it came out, to, I need about 8 inches to make this thing sit evenly. So what I'm going to do is add this to the back because this goes like this and the shelf itself is supported like this and I'll screw it in from the inside but anyway so from this point right here down I need 8 inches so I'm simply going to run this straight edge on my fence out at 8 inches and give it a cut just thought I'd let you know what the heck I was doing and why this may look a little different so let's give that a try Just for reference, John Heise does this as well. I only ever raise the blade just enough to cut the piece of wood. You don't need lots of blades sticking out when you're doing something special. That should do it. We plug it in. And we'll set about finishing this desk up, uh, putting a finish on this and attaching it to the desk and it's done. Flip it over and yay. <laughs> what I need, it should be, let's check it out.